Boop, boop. It's Gary Kaur from CigarAdvisor.com, and it's time once again for fan mail. And this month, I have a question from Jay Blackstone in Tallahassee, Florida. And Jay writes, Hi, Gary. I bought a new humidor last month from Famous Smoke Shop, and I followed the instructions for prepping it to the letter, but the hygrometer, a digital one, is reading way below 70%. The temperature reading is 71 degrees, and I can tell by feeling the cigars that they are not dry. The hygrometer does not have a calibration button, but there, is there another way to calibrate it? Well, Jay, you're in luck because there is. There's a tried and true method for calibrating a hygrometer, and it's called the salt method, or the salt test. Now, there's two kinds of hygrometers. Let's talk about them first. You have your traditional analog, which basically picks up the moisture in the air and reads in an analog fashion. And then you have your digital unit. This one's made to look like an analog, but it's, it's actually a very, very good one. It's a Western Humidor Caliber 4R, and it's sold through Cigar Oasis. Not only do you get the humidity, but you also get the temperature with digital hygrometers. And that's why I like digital hygrometers, because first of all, they're more accurate by design but it's also important to know the temperature. Now, what you can do is you can adjust the setting on this for your relative humidity in case it's off a little bit, and I'll get to that later. And on the analog version, most of the better ones will have a set screw or calibration screw on the back to you know tighten it down and get it right where you want it. So, the salt test. What do we do? Well, first you need a few things. You need a sandwich bag, or in this case I'm using a cigar bag you get at the cigar store. A bottle cap, plastic, and some table salt, distilled water, and if you happen to have one, uh, eyedropper is really good to use and I'll show you why. What we're going to do is we're going to fill this cap with salt and we fill it up just about to the top. You don't have to fill it up all the way. Just, just get enough salt in there until it's just over there. You don't want it to uh, overflow, obviously. Now, I take my eyedropper, I fill it with distilled water, and what I'm gonna do is, the reason I'm using an eyedropper is I don't wanna get it completely soaked. I wanna just do this until it turns pasty. I don't want a thin, watery solution. So just a few drops, just like that should be enough and that's exactly what we want. We take this and we put it inside the bag and try to do it on a flat surface where no one's going to disturb it either. Then we're going to take our hygrometer and it doesn't matter if you use the digital or the analog because they're both done the same way. And you're going to put that inside the bag. Let's get that in there. You're going to seal the bag and you're gonna leave it alone for anywhere from six to eight hours. Now, why is that? Well, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna be creating a little biosphere, so to speak, that's gonna produce a relative humidity of 75%. And you're saying, well, I keep my cigars at 70%, what's 75? Well, that's just the standard. That's where it comes out when you do this test. So you know, at the end of the timing period, it's gonna be 75% in there. Now, if it doesn't read 75%, you know you have to calibrate it. So, six hours later, hopefully it will be on 75%. You won't need to calibrate it if it's on 75% because that's exactly what you're looking for. You just need to put it right back in your humidor. But if it's not, you take a little screwdriver and you just adjust it to 75 and then put it back in the humidor. Or sometimes I put it back in the bag for a little while just to see if it's staying. But you're all set. Now, this one is really, really nice, and you would do it basically the same way. Uh, it'll even show you the temperature in there too. So you're gonna take this, and you're gonna do the same thing. You're just gonna put it in here. This is why you use a sandwich bag. And then, same thing. Close it up, see what it says. This should read 75. This happens to be an excellent uh, hygrometer. If it's not, if it's off by a couple of, you know, one or two, 
you can just take the button here and move it. Just click it like that. See? So you're thinking, well, that looks like a lot of work. You know, there's got to be a better way. And there is. Our friends at Bovita make a one-step calibration kit. And I really love this thing because it's literally done in one step. Inside the bag, you'll find a 75% Bovita humidity pack. And now you know if it's Bovita, it's going to be really accurate. That's going to be 75%. And all you have to do is tear off the top, open the bag, put the hygrometer inside, and they suggest that you let it sit for 24 hours. After 24 hours, open up the bag, remove the hygrometer, and you're all set. So you can choose which method you prefer. This is kind of neat because it's very easy. This is a little more fun if you're kind of a uh, tinkerer. And uh, you're all set. So that's how you calibrate a hygrometer.